Hello fifth graders, welcome to lesson 7.8, compare mixed number factors and products. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's objective is to relate the size of the product to the factors when multiplying fractions greater than one. Please pause to write the lesson objective in your notebook. Today we're going to be multiplying factors greater than 1, which we can call a mixed number in a fraction, times a fraction and times a whole number. We need to know if our numbers are going to get bigger or smaller when we multiply. This will help us estimate and know if our answers are reasonable. Let's begin by reading the unlock the problem. You can make generalizations about the relative size of a product when one factor is equal to one, because when we multiply by one, nothing changes. If it's less than one, our number is going to get smaller, and if it's greater than one, our number is going to get bigger. Let's show this with a model. Jane has a recipe that calls for one and one-fourth cups of flour. She wants to know how much flour she would need if she made the recipe as written, and if she made half the recipe, and if she made one and a half times the recipe. Shade the models to show one-fourth scaled by one, one-half, and one and one-half. So first off, let's show one times one and one-fourth. So she's going to use one whole cup of flour, and then we're gonna split this one into fours, and we're going to use one of the fourths. So we know if we're going to use one group of one and one fourth, then it is going to be equal because nothing changed. It's just one group of this number. Okay, now let's look at part B. Part B says, what if she made half the recipe? She doesn't want to make the whole recipe, just half. Well, if we're going to make half the recipe, then we won't need as much. So our answer should get smaller. Let's show the model of this. Let's begin by starting the same way we did with one whole and then splitting this into fourths and shading in one of them. So this would be one and one fourth. Now let's split that whole thing in half. So in this half, I'm going to use half and in this, I'm going to have eighths, and I'm only going to use one eighth. So now I have one half and one eighth, which if I change halves, my half into eighths, that would give me four eighths. So that would give me five eighths. So that means that my number got smaller. So the answer will be less than the original one and one fourth we started with, which makes sense because I'm only making half of the recipe. Now let's think about if she made one and a half of that recipe. Make sure you have everything written down because my part C is on the next page. Part C says we're going to make one and one half of one and one fourth. So let's start out by drawing the same picture that we have drawn. So here's one and one half, sorry, one and one fourth. That's what we need to make the recipe, one and one fourth, and I'm gonna color in one fourth. Okay, so I need one group of one and one fourth, but then I also need a half a group of one and one fourth because I can think of this as one and a half because one and a half taken apart would be one and one half. So let's draw the same picture we had from the half. So we do in the whole thing, we split this in fourths, we colored in one of the fourths, then we split it in half, I colored in this half, I split this in eighths, and I colored in one, which gave us four eighths plus one eighth, which we said was five eighths. So now I would have one and one fourth plus the other five eighths because this would be one times the recipe and this would be half of the recipe and I'm adding them together. So that means that my answer is going to be greater 
than the original 1 and 1 fourth, which makes sense because I multiplied by 1 and an extra half. Great job so far, fifth graders. Let's continue looking at this, this time on a number line. Jake wants to train for a road race. He plans to run two and a half miles on the first day. On the second day, he plans to run three-fifths of the distance. On the third day, he plans to run one and two-fifths of the distance. Which distance is greater than the day on the second day when he runs three-fifths or two and one-half of the distance on the third day? Or when he runs one and two-fifths of the two and one half. So let's show this on a number line. We're gonna multiply one times two and a half. Well, one group of two and a half would just be one group of two and a half. So that would be equal to two and a half. If he runs one group of two and a half, then he'll run two and a half. Okay, it says the next day he runs three fifths of the distance. So he runs three fifths of two and a half. So let's show two and a half. That would be here. And now in a second color, I'm gonna show three fifths of that. So if I count fifths, then I'm gonna have about here, right there. Because remember, we would be multiplying by less than one. So it's going to be less than our original number, less than two and a half, because I multiplied only three fifths of my original number. Part C is on my next page, so make sure that you have that written down. Part C shows that we're going to multiply one and two fifths of the original two and a half. So if he runs one times two and a half, it will be equal. But now we're going to multiply one and two fifths times two and a half. So let's show two and a half is right here. So he's going to multiply one whole group of two and a half. And he's also going to do two-fifths of it. So two-fifths would be another jump that would put us a little bit more than three. It would put us about here. So if he runs one group of two and a half plus two-fifths of two and a half, it would be greater than my original two and a half. And greater than my other factor of two-fifths. So, of two and two-fifths of two and one-half is greater than the distance of three-fifths times the original two and one-half. I know all this greater than and less than is a little bit tricky. So let's practice this with the share and show page on the next paper. In this share and show, we're going to be writing whether the answer is less than, greater than, or equal to. We're gonna show six fifths of two and one fifth. So first off, let's color in two and one fifth. So here's my whole two. So here's one, here's two, and my next one I'm gonna split into fifths. So here's one, two, three, four. Okay, and I'm gonna color in one of my fifths. Now it says I'm gonna take five, six of that. So I'm gonna color all of these divided by six. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now let's double color what we would have five of the six. So here's one, two, three, four, and five of the six. So that means that I still have all of this that was colored and is now not. So that means that my number got less than or greater than. Well, if I had a big number and I didn't color it all in afterwards and I multiplied by less than one, then you fill in the blank. Should it be less than, greater than, or equal to? We'll talk about it at the teacher table. Great job, fifth graders.